Ryan. I'm the CEO and founder of afterclass.co.za. And what we've done is we've built a system that enables teachers, tutors, and students to share information across school borders. Now, my parents are teachers, and I've spent a lot of time watching them marking papers and setting papers till ridiculous hours of the morning. And their reward for marking and setting all these papers was a rubbish attitude from the students and a worse attitude from the parents because they want results. And from support in terms of their institution, that was just laughable. So for them to sort of incur an extra income, they also focused on private tuition, which is a massive market because now you're spending a lot of money and time with the one-on-one. -on -one. So what we did was when we looked at education, we found that there were systemic flaws across all grades and all subjects where a student would walk into a class either consciously or, co or subconsciously thinking to themselves that they were going to achieve an A grade. But now with every mistake that they make in that class, that goal is just further and further away because it's now unachievable with every mistake. So basically what this does is it's taken away the sense of agency from the student. They have no free choice or power of will um, in what they study and what they do in the class. And also in terms of collective knowledge, they only have access to one teacher and their immediate classmates. But now the teacher needs to keep control over the class so the class isn't allowed to talk, they're not allowed to share notes, and they're not allowed to support each other so there's no peer support in the classroom. Now the reward for all of this demotivational activity in the classroom is the grade that they're now trying to get. So this, oh, sorry. So this now creates a feedback loop for failure. So now what we've done is we've created a system where we enable teachers and students and tutors to support one another across school borders, share collective knowledge focused on the core curriculum. And how do we do this? We've introduced elements of gamification. Now, in a video game, a student or a person playing a video game would start every level with zero points and zero experience. And they need to gain experience and gain skills and gain points. So people enjoy gaining stuff. They don't enjoy losing stuff. So now students can actually work towards gaining an A grade as opposed to starting with an A grade and falling down, downwards from that spiral. In terms of the market, in South Africa, we have 2 million Facebook users registered between the ages of 13 and 18. We have over 1,400 independent schools and nearly half a million teachers. An estimated 3.6 million students in grades 10 and 11 and 12, that's where we'll be targeting. And the private tuition market, we can't really gauge because there are so many varsity students who have just come out of matric who are now offering their services to matric or standard nine or standard eight students to earn extra income. And basically, we want to target 10,000 of these students by the end of our first year. In terms of marketing, what we will be focusing on is um, online advertising and SEO, and then also the channels of communication between the schools and parents, and therefore to their kids. Um, and we'll also be looking at Facebook, Mixit, and Twitter, and social media platforms. But our biggest driver will be the student interaction, where students will earn bonus points for supporting their peers by inviting them onto the platform to join the conversation. In terms of revenue streams, we'll be looking at five revenue streams. We have a point system, so a student needs points on our website to download and access more material for their classes. So they can either earn points by uploading and sharing their class notes and supporting their peers, but if they battle to earn points, they can actually purchase more points themselves. If they don't feel like purchasing points, they can subscribe on a monthly basis and have unlimited downloads and access to video broadcasts from private tutors and video broadcasts from other students. Now, one of our biggest revenue streams will be the tutors themselves, where they register on the site free for a three-month period. And after that three-month period, they'll need to pay a 200 Rand subscription fee so they can have access to a massive market of students where they can sell their services online. We'll also be looking at advertising and research uh, marketing data, uh, but obviously we can only gauge that once we have critical mass in terms of user numbers on the site. These are some of our competitors. Our, co our closest competitor would be Obami. Um, they are a social education network, but I think they focus more on the institution level and we focus on the individual regardless of school boundaries. And we are the only system that gamifies education with the pointing system and user ranking system on our site. Where we are now is we've successfully launched phase one and we've just launched phase two. Phase one was a communications, file sharing, and user ranking system. 
Phase two includes the pointing system, social invitations, and content ranking and user experience. Phase three, which we'll be looking at developing with funding, is a online testing software so students can gauge how they would do in the real life exam and we would reward them accordingly with points for the marks that they got in their exam. So if a student wrote a mock exam and got 80%, we'd reward them with 80 points. Basically to encourage students to engage with their material and their work outside of the classroom. Um, and then phase four, we'd actually be looking at developing our own content from the content that we vetted on the site and employing full-time teachers to sit on the site to actually be there to help students when they need. What we're looking for now is 900,000 Rand uh, investment, and this will cover all OPEX and marketing for the next year. And in our first year, we're looking at about 600, uh, 690,000 Rand in return revenue. Um, and in year two, what we'll be doing is expanding our market from grades 12, 11, and 10 to also include grades 8 and 9, which will basically increase our target market by 60%. All my details are on the board there, and I will be available in the room. If you'd like to come chat about your students or your kids uh, looking for extra help, please come give me a chat. Thank you very much.